and welcome. I'm Gillian Keegan and I'm the Minister for Apprenticeships and Skills at the Department for Education. I'm sorry I can't be there with you uh, all today, but I do hope to meet some of you in future. I'm here today to talk to you all about T-Levels as part of this virtual open event. But before I do, I just wanted to say congratulations for making it this far and well done for considering T-Levels as part of the next stage of your education. So what exactly are T-Levels? They're a brand new qualification. They've been designed specifically with leading employers for people who are your age, 16. Um, the leading employers that have helped us design these qualifications have come from a large range of business sectors. So in construction, we've had architects, building designers, construction management and project management companies. In digital, we've had big tech companies, new digital companies and games designers. And in education and childcare, we've had primary schools, nurseries and children's centres. All those people with all that expertise have worked with us to help us design the qualification of the future. And on a T-level, you will spend around 80% of your time in the classroom and 20% of your time, around about nine weeks, out on an industry placement with a real employer doing real things, giving you the experience that you need to get ahead and the skills that they are looking for. Often young people get into this situation when you go for interviews later on and people ask you what work experience do you have and often people say well give me a job and give me a shot and I'll, I'll get some work experience and I'll, I'll prove it to you and that's sometimes a difficult barrier to overcome and T-levels help you to overcome that because you'll have meaningful work experience, you'll have a meaningful placement, you'll be able to put something on your CV and you'll be able to talk in your interview about all the things that you've learned. And employers have told us what they need from young people when they're hiring. So what we've done is we've made sure that they've been involved in designing the courses with us. So by taking a T-level, you can be sure that the skills that you're developing and what you're studying are cutting edge and you will gain an advantage by equipping yourselves with the skills that are needed in the world of work. And the world of work does move very quickly. There's a lot of technological advance in the, in the workplace and sometimes educators find that difficult to keep up with what's going on in the real world. And what we tried to do with T-Levels is to bring those much closer together. And myself, having spent 30 years working in different companies, in different industries all over the world before becoming an MP, I know that this is something that employers will very much value, working together with the Department for Education to design the skills and the qualifications that they need in the workplace. The current COVID situation makes it even more vital for you as students to have access to that high quality learning so that you can access good jobs because it will be a challenging economic environment for some time. And employers will want to ensure that they take on the very best people to support the growth of their businesses. From September 2021, there are 10 T-levels available in areas like construction, digital, health and science, engineering and manufacturing. And in total, there will be 24 courses in a whole range of interesting subjects. So do check with your school or college which ones they're offering um, and see what's available for you in your area. So let's talk about how T-Levels have been going so far. The first T-Levels launched this September in 2020. So there are students in the year above you who have already started their courses. And I've spent some time throughout this term meeting some of them in face to face when I could or virtually uh, when that wasn't possible. So I've met some of the students as well as their teachers and employers. And what struck me is how enthusiastic everybody is about T-Levels. They've told me that when they sat there and they were like you considering the course, they looked at the perspectives, they thought it sounded pretty cool, but the course has actually exceeded their expectations. And many of them have already learned so much about new areas of their subject that they never even knew existed. And that's what you get, lots of ideas about what you wanna do in the future because they're already discovering a world of work, um, just a, a whole load of career options that are available just by what they're studying. And the students I've met so far have also told me that they chose a T-level because of the opportunity to do an industry placement. This is really what sets T-levels apart. 
They're looking forward to being able to put their skills into practice, make those connections in the industry and learn what the workplace is really like and what kind of careers are on offer. So T-Levels are giving students a real taste for the working world even before they've done their placements and many of them are now considering degree apprenticeships for when they uh, finish their T-Level, a route that will allow you to pursue further study whilst also working at the same time and getting a head start in your career. Now I did a degree apprenticeship 30 years ago and I can tell you it was the best decision I made. I got paid, I studied uh, up to degree level, I didn't obviously get any debt and I was working full time so I also got ahead and I got promoted first because of course they knew me because I was there in the workplace. So consider that as a great option because uh, I think it's something that is, is a very good route after a T-level course. But of course the T-level also gives you the option to uh, progress straight into work if that's what you want to do or onto university too if you wish. And you get 168 UCAS points uh, which is the top uh, equivalent uh, if you do the, the, the top uh, uh, marks of the T-level it's equivalent to three A stars at A level. Um, the key thing to remember is that T-levels will really give you a head start and even in September 2021 you'll be part of an elite group who will be some of the first to complete a T-level across the whole country. So now is the time to apply for next September. So do your research, ask a lot of questions and be sure to put your application in to secure your place. Good luck.